Dear students, this is an announcement. The following footage comes from a lightly edited stream. If you want to catch me live, you can do so over on Twitch under the name Loafdog TV. Now please enjoy this episode. <laughs> Understandable, still not excusable. Because she's waiting for me. Mama is waiting for me at home. She's waiting all by herself for the day I graduate and graduate Hope's Peak Academy and come home. Okay, I'm going now. When I come back, I think we should talk again about opening an Aoyama and Azabu location. Oh my, you're still talking about that? <laughs> they are exactly the same. Oh, I'm serious. The Academy guarantees success for its graduates, right? So, I know it's gonna be difficult by yourself, but wait for me until then, okay? Yes, you're right. Then I'll just have you're to do right. my best to keep the Hanamura Diner from going out of business until then. Mom, you don't have to work so hard. What if you collapse again while I'm gone? I'll be fine. Moms are strong. I won't lose to some illness. I know that already. I know that already. See you later, alligator. I promised. I promised her I'd become a full flesh cook and save the Anamore Diner. Mama is waiting for me to keep that promise. Even though she's sick and alone, she's still waiting for me. That's why I need to go home! Teru Teru. <laughs> but, but if we were told our memories were stolen and that several years had passed since our first day, hey. then what happened to the Anamora Diner? What happened to my mom who's still waiting for me? Oh. So you did believe what Monokuma said. Damn it! You were saying all along, it's okay, I'll never believe something like this. So why? Wrong. I, I still don't believe it. <laughs> There's no way I can believe it. it. It has to be a lie. That's why I wanted to go home! <laughs> I wanted to go home and confirm it. I wanted to make sure it, it was all just a lie. I wanted to make sure that I still have a place to go home. <laughs> Teru Teru, you. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. It's not that Teru Teru didn't believe it. He believed it more than anybody else here. That's why he kept denying it. Because he believed it. He needed to deny it. Damn it. If only I... If I only knew how I felt, something like this never would have happened. I, I wanted to confirm by any means necessary. I had to do something. That's when I heard Nagito's plan. I found out he was going to kill someone if I let him alone. <laughs> That's why. That's why. Fine, fine. So, you wanted the first kill? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you guys. It doesn't mean I wanted to sacrifice any of you, but it was the only thing I could do. And I ended up killing Byakuya instead of Nagito. Uh, I see. I think I'm the one who went crazy. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Tell, tell. <laughs> I see, I see, interesting, but as far as motives to kill our concern, wanting to see your mom is so boring. What? So... So... It seems there's no point in basking in the afterglow, so let's hurry up and begin the punishment. You can't! No, you can't. Of course, that's uh, that's the response. Well now. Uh, I just hope that in the whole game we see Monomi dodging for once and hitting him back. There, now that the annoying little sister has been dealt with, let's get back to business. Oh, wait. Oh, hold on a sec. I'm not asking for forgiveness anymore, but at least. Now then, I prepared. For Teru Teru Hanamura, the ultimate cook. Hey. Call me chef. 
No way, that's not what I... Please! Please, tell me at least what happened to the animal diner, to mama. Let's give it everything we've got! It's punishment time! time. Lies! I won't believe this! I won't believe it. Yeah, it's sad, man, but you gotta go. Game over. Well, of course, he's gonna get cooked. But how? Is he gonna go in a stew? Is he gonna get grilled? Is he gonna get fried? Deep fried, okay. Mm, that's gonna sting. Okay, I don't see how you can fry him with uh, with missiles. But yeah, it's gonna be a little crisp after this. Bro, that's not frying, that's nuking. Okay, so... Yeah, it's gonna come out like a Wiener Schnitzel. <laughs> sure, in the heat of a volcano. The nice sizzle. Well, who wants dinner? Extreme! Yahoo! Extreme! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. The adrenaline is rushing through me. <coughs> teru Teru! Damn it! Ooh. Are you fucking serious? How cruel! Why? Why did you do something so cruel? Huh? Didn't you learn when you were in elementary school? If you badmouth someone, the teacher writes it in a note and makes whoever you badmouthed read it in front to you in front of the class. No. When that happens. Only then you do you think about how it feels to be bad mouthed mouthed sorry, got a little lift there. The same applies to murder. What are you saying? You're the one who drove him to do it. <sighs> so cruel. This is just too cruel. Nice! Well, it can be helped. Rules are rules, and this is the killing rule after all. What rule? You're the one who's breaking the rules. Huh? I can't just let that slide. What do you mean? When you mentioned the motive, didn't you also promise something? However, there's a catch. Don't tell me if the catch is... <laughs> Figured it out yet? That's right. You guys have to kill each other. That's my bargaining point. You guys wanna know, right? You want your school memories returned to you, right? Then you better start killing! A penny for your thoughts and a murder for your memories! Wh why? Why didn't, why didn't you tell Teru Teru about his mom or his diner? He had a right to know! Yeah, us too! We all have a right to know! Bastard! Hey, hurry up and tell us! What did you mean earlier when you mentioned our school memories? <laughs> Oh yeah, I did promise to return your memories after the killing began. <laughs> huh? You're gonna do it? But telling them is kind of... <laughs> but I never told you guys that I'd tell you right away. What? What? Not fair. That's not fair. Of course! Of course. I'll keep my promise to return your memories someday. But it's still not clear when that someday will actually be. <laughs> You sly bastard. Um, 
I must excuse myself as well. There's something that I need to do. Huh? Uh, what the heck? S so cruel! That's not fair. They both ran away. Then... Monokuma had us wrapped around his finger after all. Stupid! Terutaru, you stupid. Such despair. An ending like this is just full of despair. A seriously tragic despair. But still, at times like this, <laughs> as the symbols of hope, you guys need to keep doing your best. You. You. Why are you smiling? Crap! How can you smile in a situation like this, you creep? Nope. Hold on. I'm sad too, you know. Didn't I tell you? From the bottom of my heart, I truly love you all. You ultimates who inspire hope and your splendid talents. There's no way I can be happy when we've lost such a talented individual. Don't fuck with me! Don't go saying creepy shit. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> Please, kill me anytime. What? Huh? <laughs> if you hate me, I don't mind you killing me. I've already prepared myself to become your stepping stone. If absolute hope can be born from that, then my life is nothing special. You, how messed up are you? Hey. However, if you're going to kill me, make sure you discuss it with me beforehand, okay? You see, if you do that, then I can, then I can cooperate with the killer. Are you seriously intending to help the killer? <laughs> It's really not that big of a deal. If you're students of Hope's Peak Academy, if you're the symbols of hope who possess the chosen talents, Great. then it shouldn't matter to you guys at all if I cooperate with the killer, right? Hmm, <laughs> declaring so confidently that you'll side with the killer. Hey! Maybe this was his plan all along. Since he's willing to work with the killer, he wants us to think it's better for us not to kill him. Well, I don't mind what you think of me. In actuality, thanks to Byakuya, I started to feel a small desire to live. This is exciting! Mostly, I just want to watch everyone destroy all the despair that comes for you, one after the other. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. You piss me off. Hey, can I punch you? I just won't be satisfied till I punch you. Fine. Let's stop this already. It's just going to be a waste of time, if we keep dealing with him. What? Huh? Even Hajime hates me now? How unfortunate. That stinks. I thought you and I were quite similar. What does that... Isn't that right? You hold a special feeling towards Hope's Peak Academy, just like me. Don't put me in the same category as you. Hey. But how can you say you're not? Monokuma said it himself. We don't know anything about each other's true nature. <laughs> no, if it's true that our school memories were stolen, it's the same as not knowing our true selves too. Especially for you, right? Someone who can even remember what his talent is. Akane, please feel free to punch him. <laughs> Will do. Wait! Hold on! Hurry, stop! Please, stop this at once. Nothing will come from fighting like this. There, there. Uh, no, there. There is something else we'll, that we must do. Huh? Something else? Please listen! We must not argue with each other in a place like this. There is something more important that we must do. Let me ask. Which is? Do our best. You fiend. Mm -hmm. Well? We must first leave here and get some rest. And then we shall all work together and do our best. Do our best so we never have to come back here again. Perhaps. That is what I believe we must do right now. I am sorry. I am sorry. If only I was a better motivational speaker. No, that really touched my heart. You're totally right. What we need to do right now is do our best. If we do our best, it's definitely going to pay off, right? Yes. Yes, that is right. Like... But what do we have to work hard at? <laughs> I don't know, but we must do our best. Please. 
Jeez, I don't get you at all. Are you some kind of moron? Well, it's fine if you don't know. What matters is that you hold on to the feeling that you have to do your best. Right. So let's do our best. Let's make sure a killing like this never happens again. But it's scary. But doing our best is our only option. There's no way in doing what Nagito said. I'm gonna do it. All right. I don't know what you're all talking about, but let's do our best for now. Fine. Very well. Even if we are not able to change the future, I guess I should at least change my tomorrow. Damn fiend. I won't give up until the very end. I won't die in vain. I'll give my entire existence, my entire power, my entire body and soul and fight to the very end. Yeah, you're right. Let's definitely work together and leave this island do our best. We kept using that phrase over and over again, even though we knew they were just cheap, meaningless, empty words. Regardless, we still said it, and we continued to say it over and over again without stopping. Thus, the curtain had fallen upon the class trial where Byakuya and Teruteru were sacrificed. Afterwards, we left the trial grounds and returned to the mainland of Jabberwock Island. For the time being, we decided to go back to our cottages. After experiencing something like that, there's no way I could fall asleep. I gave up, got out of bed, and began walking around the hotel grounds for no real reason. After not doing much of anything, I dully looked up at the sky. And there, just like before, there it was. The night sky brimming with stars. Stars that looked like they were about to fall into my hands like fluttering snow. As I looked up at such a beautiful night sky, I can go anywhere. That thought crossed my mind for some reason. The sky is connected to anywhere, even to my daily life. That's why I might be able to go home. That's right, I'm definitely going to go home. Hmm? That's when it happened. As I stared up at the night sky, I felt a strange convergence of sensation. And then, while I continued to stare at the night sky, I felt my entire body stiffen with that sensation. Isn't this... Is someone watching me? What? Okay. I thought it was gonna be like, is this hope? Uh, but instead we got a little something something. Destination Despair, Chapter 1, End. Surviving students, 14. We lost two already. To be continued. Well, I guess that's the least we could have lost. Yeah. Obtain the present 3-star three, three badge. And wooden stick. Yes, okay. And with the end of the first chapter, I'm gonna end this stream. Thank you everybody for having followed me through this. And as always, I've been Loaf Dog. Thank you very much and good night. See you next time. Well then, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to follow me on Twitch. The name is Loaf Dog TV. Now remember, if you do stop by, Please follow school regulations. No spoilers are allowed. See you very soon.